Hello, everybody. This is Patrick Montes de Oca, CEO of the Equity Management Academy and leader in Ticket Talker. On this segment, what I would like to do is to review the 360 day cycle starting September 28, 2020 to the calendar year, September 28, 2021. And we're going to take a look at how this 360-day cycle integrates itself into the nine-year cycle in terms of the harmonic relationship of, the, of these long-term cycles. We're going to take a look at the fundamentals of the market as it relates to the current situation in a report that I published in the Associated Press and Seeking Alpha called the highway to inflation is open. Summary. We are looking at a pretty dark winter in terms of any kind of economic activity. One of the reasons we focus on the gold is that gold is going to be a major beneficiary of the situation. Governments are printing endless amounts of debt in terms of US dollars, thereby reducing the value of each dollar. This is a generational crisis but it is also a generational opportunity. Fundamentals. We are looking at a pretty dark winter in terms of any kind of economic activity. Curfews are starting in California. New York schools are closed. It feels again like the first time in March when we first met uh, and, we, and we first uh, got hit by the pandemic. The markets reacted tremendously, dropping more than a thousand points. The fundamentals appear to mirror the sentiment that we had in March, with the difference uh, that is that this is the second wave. As we move into the winter time, this can only be and get more complicated. How do you take advantage of this situation? One of the reasons why we focus on gold is that gold is going to be a major beneficiary of the situation. Gold collapsed in March related to the tremendous sell-offs in equities, which also affected precious metals. It was liquidated to raise cash to retain positions. Usually when there is a large sell-off in equities, investors often liquidate precious metals to meet margin requirement for stocks. In March, we saw the first impact of the pandemic economically. Gold fell more than $600 an ounce. At the top, the market got too rich, too fast. It was a historically rally to new highs. The paradigm then changed with gold becoming a currency. In 1971, the paradigm shifted when the dollar was taken off the gold standard. In 2020, it shifted again. The US dollar is a paper fiat currency with no real backing to protect its intrinsic and purchasing power. Gold has value and is now a currency of sorts. Governments are printing endless amount of debt in terms of US dollars, thereby reducing the value of each dollar. The US dollar has fallen about 98% compared to gold since 1971 and is continuing to fall. This is a generational crisis, but it is also a generational opportunity. The economic system is going to have to change. In January, 
We had the Davos Economic Summit with all of the elite. They were responsible for the 1971 decision to eliminate the gold standard. The dollar then became the petrodollar, more tied to the price of oil than to gold. Right now we are facing mountains of debt. We have doubled our debt since 2008. Banks have two quadrillion in risk in derivatives. They have not and did not reduce the risk of leveraging but have continued to increase their leveraging since 1970s. The volatility in the market is so great now that no trader can handle it. You need to use artificial intelligence and algorithms to help take your emotions out of trading. With help you can embrace this historic opportunity to make tremendous profits. It is difficult to sort out real news from propaganda. One way to cut through the noise is to listen to what the market is telling us. The stock market continues to rise to the benefit of the wealthy, such as those who can borrow money at almost zero interest rates and then buy stocks and make a profit with almost no risk. Big corporations can buy their own stock and literally make free money. The government is not only supplying free money to play, uh, to play with, but is also guaranteeing the other side of the market by saying they would be a buyer of last resort. No matter what happens, the governments will buy you out. The U.S. can do that because the government can print as much money as they want to print. They are leveraging the asset base of the United States, which means it is coming out of all of our pockets. Someone will have to repay all of the debt, and there will be the taxpayers and all Americans for generations to come. What they don't say is that the more stimulus they provide, the greater the risk of inflation, and even hyperinflation. Check out shadowstats.com for the real inflation rate, which is above 2%. You are beginning to see in gold the realization that all of the stimulus money is going to come back to haunt the dollar in terms of its purchasing power and inflation. It will no longer be the world's only reserve currency. Globally, debt only increases and we are moving into an even more debt-laden economic system. Interest rates have to be kept near at zero for a long time or the entire system will collapse under the weight of debt payments. Even a slight increase in interest rates will lead to a tsunami of debt defaults. All of this is leading to an economic climate that is going to be highly inflationary Gold will benefit from such a climate. So, we strongly recommend that at least one-third of your assets should be in gold and silver. In the short term, the Fed and the Treasury appear to be preparing for another bazooka of stimulus to hit the market. The gold market appears to be anticipating more stimulus hitting the market. What I would like to do um, as a continuation of this report is to analyze the uh, VCPMI 360 day cycle as well as the nine year cycle for the gold market. On the left you see the uh, 360 day cycle has identified the average price of 1810. In the market, by crossing above that level, as of March 23rd, it activated a 360 day cycle that projected basically 
the average price of thirty uh, of eighteen ten as the initial target, with the extreme above the uh, three hundred and sixty day average of twenty one sixty four to twenty four forty two. When the market activated a buy trigger back in March, it also activated the target of the mean of eighteen ten. which uh, was uh, completed as of April 14 with a high of 1789 not quite reaching the uh, 1810 average price and finding basically lower highs or a lower level of resistance had come into the market and what we saw was a reversion basically from that level very close to the mean reverting back down to almost uh, the uh, nine-year average that you see here of 60 uh, of 1675 the 360 day cycle is in an uptrend And it completed the target of 1810 as of June 24th, as you see here. When the algorithm completes the pattern, particularly into the average price, it goes neutral. And it tells you, as a self directed individual, to wait for the highest probability trade next, and that is when the market trades above on a close or if it closes above that average price or if it closes below that average price by trading above the average price of the 360 day cycle the market activated the sell one level of 2164 of the 360 day cycle as the next target and what we see here is the market unfolded the momentum towards the objective and we were able to get to a high of 2099 not quite meeting the target of 2164 but into that territory that the AI identifies the area as an extreme high probability area where you can potentially begin to see selling or supply come into the market as you can see here the market validated that by making a high of 2099 and began to revert back or we began to see a lot of supply or sellers come into the market the market reverting back towards the mean once again if we use the 360 day pattern begin to consolidate between the sell one level and the average price since April not quite coming down to that 1810 level to reactivate that pattern but we made a loss so far of 1854 
The protective level of the 360-day cycle is a close below 1810. And the program uh, of the 360-day uh, cycle is projecting a rally into 2164 to 2244 as the completion of this pattern. If we close below, if we fail to get through the upside and follow through to the upside and we close below 1810, this is going to negate this trend pattern, this bullishness, to neutral. And if we close below 1810, it automatically activates the levels below, which begin to integrate the nine-year cycle. As you can see on this chart, we have identified the nine-year cycle to be at 1675. The buy one level of the nine year cycle is 2162. I'm sorry, 1262. The buy two level of the nine year cycle is all the way down to 638. As we take a look at the current pattern, since we are in a bullish trend momentum, the only, the only time that this signal will be activated is if it closes below 1675. Or if it closes below 1810, it would negate the bullish trend momentum of the 360 day cycle. As we look at the upside of the market, or as we look at the targets of the extreme above of the nine year cycle, we're looking at a target of 22.99 to 27.12. One of the important things that uh, I want to uh, point out here is that when you identify the uh, VCPMI structure within a uh, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or nine-year cycle, you pretty much identify where the probability levels are at the highest levels mathematically within the extreme of the supply and demand of that structure. In, in using the uh, annual cycle here, It appears that the uh, market is uh, building what uh, appears to be a consolidation area above the 360-day uh, average price with what appears to be is a descending wedge formation. We're looking at the upper end of the descending wedge, which uh, stopped the rally on November the 9th. And this is the day actually that was announced uh, that the vaccines, I believe it was the initial vaccine that was uh, validated to be about 94.5% accurate. And so that came in here, given the market uh, supply, that essentially broke the market all the way down into this level where we are right now, 
which is into the uh, mid 1850, 1860, 70 area. Now, if you take a look at the level of support trend line of the descending wedge, it almost comes down right into the yearly average of 1810. And so what I would say to you as a trader and how I'm looking at this information as we come into next week and next month actually, is to buy into this corrections. If you get the opportunity to, for the market, the gold market to drop down $30, $40 into this area, you're beginning to build a very high probability area mathematically that we could see a reversion unfold from these levels. And as you can see, these levels also begin to integrate themselves in price as it relates to the nine-year cycle. So a correction in the gold market, regardless of uh, what rhetoric news is out there, if we do see a correction again into this uh, 1810, 1820 area, expect to see buyers come into the market and if we are able to revert and close above particularly the high that we made last week of 1973 then it looks like we are uh, pretty much breaking out of this pattern and puts into the picture basically the previous target of 29 of 2099 as the next target and this fits into uh, the uh, 360 day VCPMI pattern that has been identified basically with the first target of 2164 Let's leave this for now and see as we come into next week and as we begin next month what the market is telling us based on the action that we have next week. I will continue to uh, uh, publish this uh, podcasts on a weekly basis here for the benefit of my subscribers, for the benefit of those self-directed traders that are looking for an alternative way to trade the market that essentially eliminates the emotion out of your trading by using the VCPMI as a GPS it gives you a great advantage of trading the market from a mathematical point of view not an emotional point of view please join me every morning at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in Ticket Tucker where I do a one hour live show where I show you basically in live trading in a real account in real time live streaming how I execute this information in the meantime my friends take care take care of each other have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon are you looking for an automated artificial intelligence trading system do you want to analyze commodities and financial markets to determine when to buy and sell? Looking for an indicator to predict future trends in the commodities and financial markets? Welcome to EMA2 Trade Live Signals, our Variable Changing Price Momentum Indicator, VCPMI, is an automated AI trading system developed and tested over a decade. The VCPMI algorithm is based on age-old vortex mathematics combined with Fibonacci wave theory, trend analysis, pivot points, and several other widely accepted financial analytical methods. The VCPMI can help you take emotions out of your trading and rely on simple mathematics 
to predict future trends in financial markets. This approach will make your trading more effective, consistent, and profitable. VC PMI Algorithm The VC PMI code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. Therefore, the VC PMI code levels are useful as an index tool for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for longer term traders. Why VC PMI? The VC PMI relies on artificial intelligence to analyze markets and predicts future movements which seek to determine what a security or commodity is worth at a given point in time. The VC PMI uses technical analysis in the form of mean reversion trading which seeks to capitalize on extreme changes in the pricing of a particular market based on the assumption that it will revert to its previous state. The VC PMI can be applied to both buying and selling as it allows a trader to profit on unexpected upswings and save when security or commodity is trading at an abnormal level. Visit ema2trade.com for more details. This is the Equity Management Academy Weekend Podcast Report for January 31st, 2021. Silver. Short sellers. Your time has come to pay the piper. Summary. The volatility has increased to a point that it is unlike anything in living memory. The playing field has changed in relation to the application of technology against some of the biggest hedge funds, which had been essentially controlling certain markets. New technology has leveled the playing field. GameStop is one example. GameStop has changed the benchmark of volatility. Fundamentals. On January 29, 2021, at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we have a fast market in gold. It is about $27, uh, up about $27 to 1868. The volatility has increased to a point that is unlike anything in living memory. Since March of last year, we had entered a new paradigm. Gold fell to 1450, and the stock market fell 2000 to uh, below 2200 which was the bottom of this new trend that uh, marked the transformation from the old physical economy to a virtual economy it was one of the reasons why gold hit 2086 a 600 dollar move in the blink of an eye that was just the beginning the high of 2089 that gold hit discounted the economic damages that the pandemic caused. Now, we are seeing that volatility spread to millennials. Recently, Robinhood limited trading in a stock that went up hundreds of percent, GameStop. The playing field has changed in relation to the application of technology against some of the biggest hedge funds, which had been essentially controlling certain markets. New technology has leveled the playing field. GameStop is one example. The variable changing price momentum indicator is another example where we can use technology to make the small trader equal to the big institutional investors. Gold has not reflected the actual economic fundamentals in relation to stimulus, interest rates, physical, and monetary policies. It is not reflecting the ratio of gold to stocks or gold to debt. Everything is related economically. Gold is a major benefactor of a uh, weakened economic system. Gold is a safe haven investment, a hedge against an economic downturn, and is real money which has been used for thousands of years. Volatility is a dream come true for day traders. Fortunes can be made or lost overnight. The key question is how to manage the risk. 
We use the VCPMI to identify the highest probability trades in order to manage the risk. Based on the fundamentals, gold should be at $5,000 or more, but it is not. Therefore, you have to use technical analysis such as the VCPMI to guide your trading. We are bullish on gold and silver long term, and we are using the VCPMI to day trade the volatility while building a long term position in gold and silver. These times are a golden opportunity to traders. It is similar in some ways to the 1970s when we began to see inflation take off and gold hit 800 in 1981. The stock market, the Dow Jones, was at about 1,000. Interest rates were at about 14-15%. The playing field has changed. But the only difference is the interest rate picture. Today we have negative interest rates. If you take into account inflation, Europe has negative interest rates. It is impossible for an economy to function with negative interest rates. It cannot last. You pay a bank to hold your money and they use your money to invest in stocks and make a fortune. The pandemic has collapsed the economy. There is still no light uh, to show us how all of this is going to be resolved. We have a tremendous debt. Uh, governments are producing incredible uh, amounts of new money or stimulus. They are not concerned with the long-term effects. They are not facing the reality that the more money you print, the more you devalue each dollar, which leads to inflation and weakens the U.S. dollar role as the world's reserve currency. The feds cannot raise interest rates with such levels of debt. We are going to be facing a 30 trillion debt soon. And if interest rates rise, it will put immense pressure on the cost of a debt of that debt. The feds are in a hard place. They are in a situation they can't control. As they continue to erode the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar, it increases the risk of inflation and even hyperinflation. The U.S. dollar is holding against other currencies because other currencies are even weaker than the U.S. dollar. But as we print more and more money, all fiat currencies become less and less valued. Currencies are set to go zero. Then we will see a reset that will bring down the debt in the old currencies. We are likely to see a new virtual currency and no debt based on the old currencies. In terms of virtual currencies, Bitcoin is the leader. We trade the Grayscale Bitcoin Investment Trust, which is based on Bitcoin. It offers great liquidity. We trade GBTC to make money to then invest in gold long term. GameStop has changed the benchmark for volatility. The big hedgers and short sellers have to take into account what has happened. Silver is now One of the biggest short squeezes ever seen. Silver is the poor man's gold. Silver hasn't been broken the high in the 1970s, which was around $50 or even the high in 2011. Silver production compared to gold is 8 to 1. The current gold and silver ratio is at about 68. It is coming down to what could be a 15 to 1, which will explode the price of silver. If we're talking about 8,000 gold, then at roughly 15 to 1 ratio, then the silver should be about $200 an ounce. Some people are saying that silver is worth $1,000 an ounce. Short hedgers are now warning that they can be wiped out by private investors banging, uh, banding together as they did with GameStop. 
Wall Street bets pushing silver to In silver, the commercials and central banks are at major risk, according to the COT reports, the Commitment of uh, Traders reports. They uh, have uh, roughly about $35 billion in short positions. As silver rises, the short squeezes, pressures on them increases massively. We appear to be heading into uh, more lockdowns and the supply chain is being disrupted again. Gold and silver production may be hindered. We are running out of gold in silver inventory and premiums are at increasingly tremendous high premiums in the cash market. You cannot buy physical without waiting weeks, weeks in advance and now potentially uh, may be a shortage of physical availability in the market. $250 silver, in uh, quote, and you look at the real price of silver inflation adjusted. Remember the uh, famous Hunt Brothers effort to uh, corner the silver market back in 1980? Silver hit $50 an ounce. Okay, but adjust for inflation since then. The CPI is about five times since 1980, so that 50 is more equivalent to $250, and silver is sitting here at 26 So is there room for silver to go up? Oh, my goodness, yes. End of quote. Ray Arnott, CEO, Research Affiliates, which trades trillions, trillions, and manages trillions of dollars. On January 27, the spot month in gold was trading at a premium to the back bonds. Therefore, it's an inverted market, which usually means there is a shortage of supply. Everyone wants to take delivery. People are going into the futures markets to take delivery, which is putting a squeeze on the COMEX to, and, and London Metals Exchange. We are going to find that whatever physical they said they were carrying was highly leveraged. It is the same thing as it happened in 2008 when mortgages were highly leveraged and hypothecated. The difference is that the short side of the market is running scared. They can't cover their shorts. Every time gold and silver come down, buyers come in at a higher level than before. Now we're looking at 1880 gold, and it's not coming down. Every time we come down, we get a reversion rapidly. Supply is taken every time by strong buying. If we break through the 1880, we'd, uh, we should... Um, hit 1900 to or, or to 1917 as uh, the week uh, as the weekly targets here as we come into next week then the monthly and annual targets come into play and it goes back uh, into that uh, 1870 area It is pretty strong for gold. Buy corrections and hold your long-term position in gold. Silver is building an impressive base. Demand is solid. It is entering an area where, you, where we can see some supply coming into the market. 
Now we need to see the price function through this supply. If we go through 2840, we are off to the races. Are you looking for an automated artificial intelligence trading system? Do you want to analyze commodities and financial markets to determine when to buy and sell? Looking for an indicator to predict future trends in the commodities and financial markets? Welcome to EMA2 Trade Live Signals. Our Variable Changing Price Momentum Indicator, VCPMI, is an automated AI trading system developed and tested over a decade. The VCPMI algorithm is based on age-old vortex mathematics combined with Fibonacci wave theory, trend analysis, pivot points, and several other widely accepted financial analytical methods. The VCPMI can help you take emotions out of your trading and rely on simple mathematics to predict future trends in financial markets. This approach will make your trading more effective, consistent, and profitable. VC PMI algorithm. The VC PMI code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. Therefore, the VC PMI code levels are useful as an index tool for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for longer term traders. Why VC PMI? The VCPMI relies on artificial intelligence to analyze markets and predicts future movements, which seek to determine what a security or commodity is worth at a given point in time. The VCPMI uses technical analysis in the form of mean reversion trading, which seeks to capitalize on extreme changes in the pricing of a particular market based on the assumption that it will revert to its previous state. The VCPMI can be applied to both buying and selling as it allows a trader to profit on unexpected upswings and save when security or commodity is trading at an abnormal level. Visit EMA2Trade.com for more details. Are you looking for an automated artificial intelligence trading system? Do you want to analyze commodities and financial markets to determine when to buy and sell? Looking for an indicator to predict future trends in the commodities and financial markets? Welcome to EMA2 Trade Live Signals. Our Variable Changing Price Momentum Indicator, VCPMI, is an automated AI trading system developed and tested over a decade. The VCPMI algorithm is based on age-old vortex mathematics combined with Fibonacci wave theory, trend analysis, pivot points, and several other widely accepted financial analytical methods. The VCPMI can help you take emotions out of your trading and rely on simple mathematics to predict future trends in financial markets. This approach will make your trading more effective, consistent, and profitable. VC PMI algorithm. The VC PMI code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. Therefore, the VC PMI code levels are useful as an index tool for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for longer term traders. Why VC PMI? The VCPMI relies on artificial intelligence to analyze markets and predicts future movements, which seek to determine what a security or commodity is worth at a given point in time. The VCPMI uses technical analysis in the form of mean reversion trading, which seeks to capitalize on extreme changes in the pricing of a particular market based on the assumption that it will revert to its previous state. The VCPMI can be applied to both buying and selling as it allows a trader to profit on unexpected upswings and save when security or commodity is trading at an abnormal level. Visit EMA2Trade.com for more details.